So when it comes to editing your photos and videos, we want to save as much time as possible. Usually what I do is I take one photo, one frame of the video that I'm working on, I'll edit that to the look that I want, and then apply that to the rest of my clips or photos. So in this case, we're talking about video and DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you guys a couple of keyboard shortcuts that I use when I'm editing to speed up my process. Let's get to it. So now we're in DaVinci Resolve and I have a project that I, I've been working on here and the edit is is done and now I'm ready to color grade. If I was to color grade before I edit, it would, um, I would just have to edit one clip here. With the trick that I'm showing you today, it won't really matter and it won't take you that much time, especially in a short project like this. My main talking head clip right here. So what I used on this was a modified Fujifilm LUTs. And so I can just apply that to my node over here. And I think I probably just added a little bit more contrast and maybe cooled it off just a hair with um, the temperature, negative 20. Okay. So then this is where the keyboard shortcut comes in. You have you have a your alt key, which is also command on the Mac. Alt and then your number keys. So alt one through nine, I believe. I don't think zero is on there. So I think it's one through nine. It will do what Resolve calls saving a memory. So you have all of these memories that you can save. So what I can do is I can select this node and press Alt 1 and that saves my memory and then when I want to load that to the next clip I can choose Control 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and so that means I can be working with eight different adjustments that are quick saved into the memories pane. So um, I'll just go to my next thing and I'll press Control 1 and that will load that color correction on what it looked like before so then I can select multiple clips here and then again press that control one it's loading saved color correction for that clip and what I can do is once I get it good on this and I like it and it looks good I can select all the other clips in my timeline and then I just hit that control one and that applies the grade that I first made on this to all the rest of the clips. So then I have my, my B-roll and I make the adjustment on here. Um, you know, I, I really can bring down the, the shadows and up the highlights a little bit. And then I press Alt 2 and that's going to copy that color adjustment. So then I go and select my other B-roll shots with the same similar lighting and I hit that control two now and that's going to load the saved profile that I just saved to the two key. And there, and that's, that's a little bit too dark. So I'm gonna just select that clip and bring up the shadows a little bit and then, um, on this one as well that one's pretty good so this is especially good if like maybe the, the exposure you have to change the exposure on them but you want your colors to all be the same so I want a orange tint on all the clips so I put it on there hit alt 2 or command 2 and then I select my other clips and I go control 2 and now I have that orange preset and I can bring up the the shadows or adjust the exposure individually on each one of the clips, but they still have that orange hue to it. So this is a way that you can very quickly and easily color grade your clips and footage by just using those alt one through nine to save your, your memories, your color adjustments, and then control one through nine to apply those memories 
um, or those color adjustments to your clips. So usually how I had it set up was I used Alt-1 for my main talking head, Alt-2 for my B-roll. Maybe I had, and then I think I had some darker shots that were in one section. I did Alt-3 and then so on and so forth. So uh, this is a really great uh, quick tip that I use when editing and it just allows me to accomplish the edit faster and get it uploaded. So anyways, Hope this has helped if you want to see the final result of the editing that i did go to my instagram at charles.vernier that i posted that video up there so check it out anyways thanks for watching guys see you next time